Hello there again. This is a quick, quick lesson, quick, quick topic on irregular shapes. How to find the area of irregular shapes. They're very approximate methods. The second one is a bit more accurate, but it's an approximate how to find areas of irregular shapes. The first method is using a grid. So I've got my regular shape and I've drawn over a grid and each square is one centimeter by one centimeter. So the area of each square is one centimeter square. Now in this case all you have to do is count the number of squares that make up the shape and parts of squares that make up one hole or in your opinion make up one hole and that will give you the area of that square. So if you've got 42 squares that would be 42 centimeters square area. Very simple but very approximate method. Now the second method is called the midordinate rule is a bit more accurate. Now depending on the width of each strip you're going to take. Let me explain. So I've got my regular shape and I've drawn a line to the extent of its maximum width from that point to that point. Now in this case instead of dividing the shape into squares I'm dividing it into rectangles. Now each strip of rectangle depending on how wide you make it or how narrow you made it it, it will give you uh, a greater ac accuracy. So the thinner the rectangle is the more accurate the reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that line into a number of parts. So I'm going to division them with a line and in my case I'm going to divide it into 10 equal parts. This is about 11, almost 11 centimeters long. And I'm going to divide it into 10 parts which should be enough for my case. So I'm going to use the ruler because my compass points are out. I'm going to do 10 equal divisions on this line here, division of a line. And then taking parallel lines. And dividing the whole length of my irregular shape into ten equal parts. Now each of this division is equal to the width of my rectangle. So these are the rectangles. Now you see at first they won't look like a rectangles at all, but we'll see the reasoning behind it. So my shape is divided into these strips of equal width. So there you have it. So my shape is divided into equal strips, equal rectangles. Now I'm going to find the area of each rectangle. Now how do I find the area of a rectangle? It's length times breadth. The, their breadth are all equal. So that solves that problem. But their height are very regular. So for the first rectangle which length do you take? Do you take this side or this side? You take neither of those, you take the one in the middle. Alright, so in my case I'm going to take that division there I'm going to draw it as a dotted line and that's my mid-ordinate. My mid-ordinate is taken as the average of the two lengths. So the first rectangle's length would be this length multiplied by that length. And again, for each rectangle, for each rectangle, I'm taking the length of the mid ordinate 
these dotted lines multiplied by its width. So what you really need is not the edges of the rectangle, it's their midpoint. So let me finish off this first and I'll show you what I mean about it. So, and what you really need to do when constructing this. So I'm just explaining the reasoning behind it so you understand So those dotted lines are the mid ordinates of each rectangle and those are the average length of that of each of those strips, those rectangles. So what you need to do now is measure measure each rectangle each length. Now I can measure these lengths like this. I'm taking one length drawing it horizontally on that line there. If you have enough space, it's a very easy method. I'm adding the lengths on this line there. If you don't have enough space, just add them on the side mathematically. So let's say, because this, so what I've done here, I've drawn a line, I've taken the first length, that length, the second length of the mid ordinate to there, the third length to there, the fourth length to there, the fifth length to there. Now these could have be easily been added mathematically like this so you've got 25 millimeters for the first length you've got 40 millimeters for the second length 42 millimeters for the third length so once you've added all these dotted lines which are the centers of each rectangle you've added them up Let's say, for instance, you get 235 millimeters. Taking that their length, their width are all the same. In my case, they're 10 millimeters. You multiply once by 10 millimeters, you would get the area of the whole shape in millimeters squared. All right, remember always use the same units. So these were in millimeters, I've multiplied it by 10 millimeters. So what you really need to do in this case is once you've divided the shape into a number of equal parts, there's no need to draw the edge of each rectangle, the full line. What you need to draw is the broken line, the midpoint of each rectangle, and then measure those. Once you've added them up, you multiply by the width of each strip. And that's the mid-ordinate rule. Thank you and please free, feel free to comment and ask questions.